Yes. Um, so I am itching, you know, down there. <laughs> And I've been to every doctor, okay, and they are not able to help me. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Frances. I share different stories about life on this channel. I'm actually a life treatment salon owner, and I just literally changed the name of my channel. Before, I was sharing just different things about my business, but now I'm sharing things about my life as a life treatment salon owner. The name of the channel is now Life with Francis, okay? And so that change in the name will help me to be able to share my life as a life treatment salon owner and not just the business, you know? So I feel like I'll be able to do a whole lot more content based around my life, based around different stories. I can actually bring out my real personality and not the businesswoman, okay? The one that has to walk on eggshells and make sure I don't offend anybody, okay? So if you're new here, I just wanted to let you know. And if you're not new here, let me just tell you the changes that are going on with this channel, just in case you're wondering what's going on. But today I wanted to share a story. Actually, I guess this is going to be more than one story because I am sharing this story about the different type of calls that we get in this business, okay? And let me tell you, we get the craziest calls. So first off, I, I, I understand this is a life business and therefore people think that we do all types of lice, okay? They think we do body lice, they think we do scabies, they think we do pubic lice, okay? We get, we get those type of calls all the time. And we only do head lice, strictly head lice. There's nothing about our advertising that says we do those other type of lice. There's no, no, no pictures online. There's nothing on our website that say that. But still, we get calls almost every day, all the time, about body lice, pubic lice, okay? And scabies and for some reason these people are relentless <laughs> okay they are relentless when we tell them that we do not do it they still keep continue to go on and on and on about their issues for instance I'll have people call and they'll say yes um, so I am itching you know down there <laughs> And I've been to every doctor, okay, and they are not able to help me. So I was wondering, and I was just like, I have to cut them off because I don't want to hear anymore, first of all. We can't help you. We don't do that. I'll just cut them off. Um, Ma'am, I'm sorry. We don't do that. This is strictly head lice. We do only the lice in your hair. So if you have bugs in your hair, we can help you. They're still talking. Ma'am, no, listen, I need your help. I am really itching down there. Like, I need your help. So when I say these people never stop talking, I literally have to cut them off and say, we don't do that. Call a doctor. Listen, you cannot make this stuff up. Okay. And I, you know, I was actually inspired to do this video because there's another girl here on YouTube. Um, her channel is called the Louse girl. I think, um, I saw her video the other day and I was just cracking up laughing because she did a video about um, how a girl came into her, a long time ago when she was working at a place, how a girl came into her office and, uh, or to her job, and she's a teenage, I mean, a, a college girl, and she was treating her for, for life. She'd only been doing it for like a year and a half at this time, and she was looking at it like, this looks different, but you know, maybe it's just smaller, I don't know. She's like, it looks different, and she, as she's coming, she's like, wait, this is not it. So she walks away, she Googles it, she finds out it's crabs. She has pubic lice in her hair. So she calls the manager, the manager's like, she shows her, she's like, uh, you need to go tell her, we don't do this. This is pubic lice. And so they go get the manager. <laughs> the manager goes and tells her, hey, um, I'm so sorry, but this is not, we don't do this here, you know. This is pubic lice, and um, so I'm sorry, we're gonna have to cancel your appointment. And the girl just starts crying, and she's like, Oh my god, I had it down there as well. 
I'm no, I'm, I'm in no way laughing at this girl. This poor young girl. I feel so sorry for her, to be honest. This is sad. This is crazy. And I'm just imagining what she's probably going through. She's probably terrified. However, I'm giggling because I'm thinking about what I would be going through at this time if this was if this happened to me. I would be freaking out, freaking out, okay? Because if you go read the comments on most of my videos, the main comment that you will see is, why aren't you wearing gloves? Why aren't you wearing gloves? You need to be wearing gloves, okay? First of all, it is very hard to wear gloves and treat lice, okay? It's very hard. Um, but you wouldn't know that if you don't do it, so you wouldn't know that. Um, I actually was wearing gloves during the pandemic for PPE, you know, just to make everybody feel safe and comfortable, and it's the hardest thing. Um, so I don't wear gloves because of that. And so I would have really been freaking out and I would have been so angry that I was not wearing gloves if somebody had, if I'm touching literally pubic lice, okay? I would have been so terrified. I probably would have been like, ah, get out, get, get out. <laughs> that, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what, how I would have reacted, but she's better than me. She did a good job compared to probably the way I would have reacted because uh-uh, no. A year and a half into working there, so I thought, okay, maybe it's just a different, I don't know, maybe some eggs are small or something like that, so. So after noticing that, I began to wet her hair down, start combing her, and then I just, and then that stuff were coming out, the nits were coming out, the eggs, but I just saw that they were really, really small, and they were, it was like kind of weird. So then I caught like a really small, like baby louse. And it didn't look like a regular head lice or head louse. So I excused myself because I was thinking maybe it was something else, but I wasn't sure. So I went to the back room, the employee room, and I Googled, guess what it was? It was crabs, pubic lice in her hair. So I saw this and I called my manager. Her name is, we'll call her Sarah. And I said, Sarah, come over here and I told her to come to the employee back room and she's like what 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 what's going on and I said the client that I have she has crabs in her hair it's not regular head lice and she's like what so I showed it to her I'm like oh my god I'm like yeah so you need to tell her that we don't do that um but yeah we get we get those type of calls all the time and I have never had anybody come into the office with with it because I catch that stuff on the phone I'm really good at catching things like that on the phone when people call to schedule. Like, we get a lot of people who call who, you know, they might be, there might be something going on mentally, and I can catch that right off the top. And I'm like, um, yeah, we're not going to schedule an appointment for you, you know, because you can just tell what something's going on mentally just by the, the things that they say. And I'll do a whole separate video about that. Um, but yeah, and then sometimes they'll say, well, can I just come in there and buy your products? Uh, no, you can, buy, you can order online. <laughs> and they're like, can, can, um, will this work? I would always wonder why they would always ask us, does your product work for pubic lice? And I would think like, why would it work for pubic lice? This is, we, we do head lice, but um, it makes sense now because sometimes I'll go buy the lice products in the store because if you go on my TikTok, you'll see that I'll do videos of those lice combs in the kit versus the lice combs versus our lice combs so that people can see the difference on how which one works best okay and so i've actually read the directions on those boxes and they do say on there this treats pubic lice and this treats body lice so that is why they call us and that is why they think that our treatment will work but I, how am I gonna treat pubic lice? Like, I don't know, I'm not trained on that. And I just tell them, no, you just gotta call a doctor. They should know better than we do. Call a STD clinic, I don't know, call, call somebody else. Just call somebody else. <laughs> but yes, I, that's just a quick little short story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be back with more stories. And in the meantime, if you guys are needing some good Headlice products that work, definitely check out our store. The products will probably be linked on this video and you can also, you know, we have um, links to our products in the description box. I also own a Christian merch shop. It's flourishwithfrances.com. 
So go over there and check it out. See if you like something over there. I do have some really cute stuff over there. I do understand my stuff might not be your style, but if it is, go check it out and go buy something. Everybody have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry that I'm hoarse right now. But I'll see you guys in the next video.